welcome to another live broadcast. My name is Jason from septictank.co.uk. And getting straight into this one, this is a really controversial subject that I'm dealing with today. But the whole point of this broadcast is because I want to give you some good news. And the good news is this. All right. So today we're discussing all about the general binding rules. So this is basically the whole um, ethos, the motivation behind this live broadcast is to save you thousands of pounds and help you to make your septic tank fully compliant before the general binding rules come into force on the 1st, <coughs> excuse me, of January 2020. So what exactly are the general binding rules? What's it all about, right? Well, I'm going to show you. All right, so here we go. Let's crack straight on with this, right? So the general binding rules are basically based on this. So let me uh, open this, if I can get this open. All right, let's see if we can, uh, what's going on here? All right, all right, here we go, okay. So if you go on to Google, all right, when you get five minutes, just go on to, um, let's just put Google in here, because everyone knows Google, and I could do it on Bing, but let's do it on here. If you go to the .gov website, right? There you go. Welcome to .gov. There you go. There's the .gov website there, right? So if you go onto the .gov website, you just need to type in something called the general binding rules. And it'll tell you all about it there. But I'm going to summarize it for you right now. All right. There we go. All right. And yes, there's 89,124 results, but we just need... The third one down here. See, so general binding rules. And basically, <clears throat> it's this. Rules you must follow if your septic tank or small sewage discharge treatment plant releases liquid to a surface water. And this is what it all boils down to. These, these, these new general binding rules are driving people crazy at the moment. They're making them angry. People are, are rioting. People are ringing me up and swearing at me because, you know, they don't believe that uh, something could be, you know, if for the, for, do you know, these are some of the most kind of, kind of controversial rules and regulations that have been passed for septic tanks in the last 300 years. In fact, there's never been legislation like this. So let me show you what it's all centering around here. All right. Now, here's a typical house in the country. Countryside could be your house. It doesn't have to be this kind of house. It could be a caravan, mobile home, whatever. But you'll notice here in the garden here is a septic tank. Now, it looks quite innocuous, doesn't it? But this is who the general binding rules are targeting. Let me show you this. They're targeting all septic tanks that are discharging raw sewage into watercourse. That's what it's all focusing on. And so basically, any septic tank or sewage system that is discharging into a watercourse after the 1st of Jan 2020 will be subject to heavy fines and prosecution. And it's already starting. This is a, a picture of a guy going uh, along a watercross, a stream, wherever it is, checking how much pollution is actually being discharged out of the septic tank and into the stream. And so basically what they'll do is they'll come and knock on your door and they'll say, OK, you've got a, a septic tank. Your septic tank um, is discharging into the watercourse like this one on the, on the picture here. And it's illegal. And they'll say, we want you, number one, to stop using your septic tank. We're going to ban you from using your septic tank. We want you to decommission it, stop it. So that's where the term septic tank ban comes from, okay? So we want you to stop using it. And we want you to either repair it or to replace your system. And this, and so this is where all the trouble starts. Now, you imagine, right, you tank for i don't know five months maybe five years maybe 50 years you've never had any problems with it whatsoever and suddenly the government inspectors say look you know replace it 
or we'll fine you. And the, these are serious things. These fines are going to be anywhere in the range from five to fifteen thousand pounds. It's a serious deal, right? As I said, it's making a lot of people angry. People are ringing me up, you know, in denial. Yeah, you liar, and all this. But you just have to go to the government's website to see all this, and it, they're going to make a lot of money from the fines. All right. So now I said, so that's the bad news. But I said, didn't I, that this live broadcast was good news. All right. So I'm going to show you right now how to make your septic tank fully legal and compliant without having to spend 10, 15, 20, 25,000 pounds. Because what's happening is this. Many firms are jumping on the bandwagon. And they'll come around and they'll say, look, you know, we'll replace your entire system for you. And um, we'll charge you 15, 20, 25,000 quid to do it. And that's what's happening. And, and I kid you not, I've had two people ring me up last week and the week before saying exactly that. They've been quoted 15,000 quid. And, I, and so basically, let me just show you the setup here. So that's the septic tank there. All right. So all the wastewater leaves the property. By wastewater, I mean, Everything from your bath, your shower, your dishwasher, your washing machine, um, your toilet, bidet, etc. Everything will go down there into a septic tank here. And then basically it fills up and then all the sludge and all the rubbish is just deposited directly into a water course. Now, you'll get many, many, many different kind of solutions, but the most popular solution is to... So if I just take the grass away here, I'm going to show you something. Okay, so that's what it looks like if we were to do a cross section of it. That's your septic tank there. Let's, let me just take the lid off it. Let me take the lid off it. Where's the lid? There we go. Let's take the tank panel up and let me fill it with the sludge. There you go. So that's what the septic tank looks like. So basically, if I just show you that again. All right, so. All right, that's what a septic tank is like empty. It's just a, a cavity system. And then basically when all your sludge and horrible stuff from your house enter it, that's what it looks like. And then from there, basically, it just makes its way from there down into the water. All right, so basically one of the most popular solutions to fix this is to put a complete sewage treatment plant in. So let me just see if I can show you that. All right, so this is um, a sewage treatment plant, okay? And a sewage treatment plant is like an electrical kind of sewage system. Uh, let me just see if I can take the lid off here. There we go. All right, and basically sludge goes in. And there we go. Sludge goes in. So that sludge goes into here. There you go. You can see it in there. And then basically... It goes into here, all these motors and compressors and pulleys turn and do their thing. It converts it to clean liquid. And then basically out of the other end, let's see if I can do this, do this right. All right, so then out of the other end then, basically you can, you've got clean liquid coming out of it. So that's what a sewage treatment plant is, but, Right. And it depends how much you want to save, really. But an electric sewage treatment plant like that is going to cost you anywhere in the region of anywhere from 15 to 35,000 pounds. Then um, you've got to get them serviced every year. The government say you've got to get it serviced every year. Typical servicing is anywhere from 300 to 750 quid a time. You've got to get it desludged every year. So that's two, 300 quid a time. So that's a thousand quid a year. Then it costs typically minimum, it's going to cost you 12, 13, 1400 quid a year in electricity costs, right? So these things, whilst they're good and they're a good solution and they're a good answer right you've got to be prepared as i said to spend 15 to thirty-five thousand quid i kid you not you know six seven you you go and have a look at how much some of these bio systems are you know for five to six bedroom houses then you've got to have them installed so they typically however much it costs right 15 20 25 grand it's irrelevant the point is although it, it is relevant 
with what I show you as an alternative to this in a minute, the point I'm making is you've got to be prepared to spend out at least two, two and a half thousand quid a year on um, servicing and running these things. And that, over 10 years, that's like 20,000 quid to run this thing, you know. So that's number one. That's solution number one. And, and uh, you know, that doesn't bode well with people having to spend 20,000 quid on a solution. So let me just rewind now. Let me just rewind. As I said, that's one solution. But I said this broadcast was about some good news. So I'm going to show you some good news now. All right? Let me show you some good news. All right. So let's put that back. All right. Let's put the septic tank back. All right, so another solution, and one of the most popular solutions out there at the moment, and that's actually approved by the government, and will save you 15, 20, 35, 30,000 quid, right, is this. You don't need anything with electricity in. You don't need to pay 2,500 quid a year in, 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 in electricity costs, in servicing costs. All you need to do is this. Have a look to this. This is incredible. When I found this out, it just blew me away. Have a look at this, right? Right, so you dig two holes, right? Just like that. All right, so if I just put the grass panel back there. All right, so I've just took the grass panel off. So that's basically what it will look like, okay? So that's quite simple, isn't it? So two basic holes by the side of the, um, the septic tank there, okay? That's nice and simple. The reason I just put that grass back on in case you're wondering what all this is, I've just done a, um, a cross section so you can see it easier. Once you've dug your hole there, right? Once you've dug your hole, all you need to do is put a German inspection chamber in. I'm gonna show you what that is for in a minute. Then from the, in fact, let me just take this off a sec, I forgot. You put a new outlet on your pipe there, uh, on your septic tank. Just put a, a new pipe coming out of your septic tank. Then you put the German inspection chamber and then you just put the ecosystem in this. This is an amazing system, this is, this ecosystem, right? So what happens then? It's non-electrical, by the way, right? So all the sludge and the poo go into there, right? And all the horrible stuff. It then makes its way through here. What this is, if you're wondering what this is, right? Basically, that's like a German silt chamber. I call them a German, German silt chamber because um, it traps any debris such as sanitary towels, baby wipes, nappies, stuff like that, worth their weight in gold. So basically, they don't block your sewage system up. You know, they don't block this clear fox um, ecosystem up here, right? You just lift the lid and pull the nappies and the diapers and the, and if you've been sanitary towels and baby wipes out, you'd be surprised how many people do put them down the toilet, even though you know they shouldn't, uh, because people forget. You know, we're imperfect. And so, okay, so so all the poo and the wee and the sludge and all the horrible stuff goes through here. It goes into this amazing septic tank converter. That's what it is. It's a septic tank converter. And then all that comes out is like pure liquid. Look at that. Pure, clean liquid comes out of it. So this septic tank conversion unit will save you thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds. It, they're absolutely fantastic. Let me just show you a picture of it here. Uh, hold on. That's the it. No. Uh, here we go. So that's what it looks like. That's a picture of it there. It's, um, it's a, as it says, what well, it is on the tin, it's a septic tank converter. And it converts sewage waste into clean, safe, legal discharge. So, and they're government approved. So if you want to save, you know, as I said, 15, 20, 25, 30,000 quid, these are non-electric. They, they, they maintain themselves, they service themselves because there's no electricity to them. There's no moving parts, no cogs or bearings or pulleys or motors or shafts or anything like that. So they just don't break down. All right, so there you go. So that is my tip. So if you want to know, I've got another thing to show you in a minute, right, which if your septic tank isn't discharging it into a stream or, or a river or whatever like that, what I'm about to show you will also save you thousands of pounds. So just bear with me, with me for one minute, right? But, all right, just bear with me on that note. But what I just wanted to show you quickly was, if you want to know where to get one of those, just go to septictank.co.uk 
and you'll see it's there. Ecosystem septic tank converter, literally just click it there. And if, if you want to know the price of them, they're 2999 So if you compare that to um, 15, 20, 25, 35,000 quid, it's a lot less. And as I said, there's no um, maintenance with it. There's no running costs. And they are um, they're just amazing. They go before and after. And that is what people are putting in to helping them make their septic tank legal before the 1st of January 2020. So that's tip number one. Now, here's tip number two. This will save you thousands of pounds. So let's say you've got a septic tank. Let's say it doesn't discharge into a watercourse or a stream. All right. What? I'm about to show you, you'll buy, end up buying me a pint for, I tell you that. And what I'm about to show you is free and cost you a penny. All right. Okay, so let me go back to the government website and show you this. All right, remember we're on the general binding rules, right? This is another requirement that all septic tank owners must have. You must, if you, if you sell your property, right? Or if you ever come to sell your property, you must tell the new operator, the person buying the system, you must say what system you've got, the location of it, the discharge points, um, any changes that you've made to the septic tank, um, how you maintain it, maintenance records if you kept them, etc., etc. Um, and and so what this is called is actually called. Let me get it up for you. Oh, let's see if I can find that. Sorry about my phone going off there. Let me just put it on to silent there. What this thing is called, it's called, if I can get it up here. There we go. It's called a government compliance form. Now, this form will save you thousands and thousands of pounds. So let me just go and show you. It's free. If you, When you get five minutes, go to septictank.co.uk. You'll notice at the top there it says septic tank ban. You've also got a septic tank ban banner there. If you click that, right, it'll take you to a page. You'll see my a beautiful picture of me grimacing like that. And um, you'll see a form that I've got in my hand there. If you scroll down, there's lots more information on this, but this is the point, right? If you put your name and your email address there, I will then send you a government compliance form now let me just see if i can get this form up here aha uh -huh. i know where it is i know where it is i thought i'd seen it before all right so bear with me a second all right here we go here we go where is it where is it gone here we go there it is here here we go no it's not all right bear with me a second i'm just going to get it up because i sent myself one before for the simple purpose of doing this here we go all right bear with me a second all right, hooray, I've done it, all right. Well, at least you know this is live. Okay, so when you've gone on to here, let me just get that back up for you. Okay, all right, so that's a bit, that's a bit better now, isn't it? All right, so let's just put that tab on there. All right, so after you've put your name and address in there, I will then send you this government compliance form so let me just go through this with you this is free by the way i don't want a penny off you there's no catch don't want your credit card details get this form download as many copies as you want you only need two um display one in your kitchen and hand one to your solicitor all right and on the form it says here all right maintenance notice in accordance with uk building regs all right the sewage system and then you basically just fill in the blanks at the end there so it says the sewage system I've installed at my property is a so cesspool, septic tank, et cetera, sewage treatment plant, whatever. Where is the sewage system located? All right, so it could be in your front garden, could be in your back garden, could be in your neighbor's garden. So you'd fill that in. The sewage system has a cap capacity of 1,000 litres, 2,000 litres, 3,000 litres. So you need to find that out. If you're wondering how to find that out, just get the septic tank emptying man to come and suck a load out once it's full, and he'll tell you the capacity how much he's sucked out, um, as long as it's obviously the whole amount. I mean, don't let him suck out half of, half the amount and then say, oh, it's only 500 litres. Otherwise, have been, you know, everyone will be scratching their head saying, well, hold on, the septic tank isn't even fit for, 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 for one bedroom, never mind five or six bedrooms. So make sure the septic tank is full up with water before you get it sucked out so he can give you an accurate, accurate, um, uh, 
description of how many liters you've got there. An accurate total, that's what I mean, sorry. Right, this, the sewage system is constructed out of, so it could be fiberglass, could be uh, HDP plastic, it could be concrete, could be bricks and mortar. The age of the sewage system, so when did you buy it? When did you put it in? Five years ago, 10 years ago, five minutes ago? How often do you maintain your sewage system? So by maintenance, you know, how often do you get it serviced? How often do you get it sucked down? Well, it says, please give details of the type of maintenance you carry out, all right? How often do you have your sewage system emptied or disludged? Once a year, twice a year, three times a year? You need to keep those records, by the way. How often do you service your sewage system? So how often do you get, get it uh, cleaned out? You know, if it's an electrical suit system, how often do you get it um, checked by an electrician, by a service engineer, the motor's checked, the compressor's checked? Um, please give details of what is carried out during a service, etc., etc. And at the end, you sign it and date it. And as I said, literally um, have one on display in your kitchen and hand one to your solicitor. When you come to sell your house, this will save you 15, 20,000 quid because what's happening is, if people are buying your property, they don't know the condition of your septic tank, whatever you've got, what sewage system you've got. They'll say, well, look, we want to put our own sewage system in and they'll get some quotes. And those quotes will be 15, 20, 25,000 quid because no one knows what, you know, they just don't want to take your word for it. You know, they, 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 they want a new system in. They're buying a new house. They want a new system in. But th this form will save you all that trouble and all that grief okay i can't tell you how much how good these forms are and as i said so if you want to know how to get your free government compliance form all you need to do is go to septictank.co.uk as i said at the top there it's got the septic tank ban it's got the septic tank ban banner on the left hand side there click either one of those um you'll see a little video i've done there you can watch that it's only a minute and a half long but the point being is as i said scroll down to the bottom here put your name and your email address there and then as i already stated you'll then get your free government compliance form and download as many copies as you want so there you go so that is um today's live broadcast um all about the general binding rules i hope that helped Thank you very much for taking the time to um, to watch this. Any contributions such as Pints or Jack Daniels, gratefully re received, especially if this form and my advice saves you thousands and thousands of pounds. And, um, and listen, so thank you, as I said, for watching. Have a great evening and um, I will speak.